The Biden administration is committing to taking in 100,000 Ukrainian refugees. It comes as people there continue to flee the country because of the Russian invasion. A new temporary humanitarian program could help make that process easier. New at 6, THP 11's Jay Jackson spoke with a Ukrainian woman who left her home and is now working to come here to Arkansas. 25-year-old Natalia arrived in the United States from Ukraine last month, and she'll be moving to Little Rock with her aunt. After moving halfway around the world, she now wants to help other refugees by sharing the story of her journey to America. I want to go back to Kiev every day because I want to help people and I feel guilt that I'm here and I want to do something, but... Gratitude after a long journey. I love my aunt so much. I'm so happy that I'm here. Natalia Poliakova says after the invasion, she had to travel from her home to Hungary, then Spain, before getting to the U.S.-Mexico border. Natalia was one of the first members of the Ukrainian citizens to arrive to Mexico. Right now, there's over 10,000 Ukrainians living in camps um, outside of the San Ysidro uh, port of entry. Her aunt, Jenya File, says they spoke with several immigration attorneys who told them to ask for asylum at the border, but the Title 42 policy holds up many asylum seekers. In the border, they have to help you. They have to let you apply for asylum, but they can enter you. you know, the Biden administration has agreed to take on about 100,000 uh, refugees from Ukraine. Nathan Bogart is an Arkansas immigration attorney. The, the government here in the U.S. has the authority to uh, declare a number of temporary options to, to victims of active war zones. The Biden administration unveiled a new sponsorship program to resettle Ukrainian refugees, discouraging them from traveling to Mexico, seeking entry. Generally speaking, somebody needs uh, either a family member or an employer to file a petition for them in order to get into the United States. And those processes can be pretty fraught with hurdles. Poliakova is now making her way to Little Rock for a new start. After making a post about her journey, she and her aunt were touched by the number of Arcanians offering to help. For every comment that people left, I cried. In Little Rock, Jade Jackson, THV 11 News. Jade, thank you. And if you'd like to find out more about how you can help Ukrainian refugees in need, head to our website, THV11.com.